How's it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm looking at a beer given to me by my bro. Thanks a lot man, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, today I'm going local again uh, from Green Bin Brewing Company in Grand Prairie, Alberta. Today's beer is Twigs and Berries. It's a, a Saskap Stout, so a, a stout coming in at 6.2% alcohol by volume, brewed with Saskap berries. Never had one of them before, but I believe it's uh, supposed to be like a, a blueberry, but with kind of a tart kind of flavor to it. So really excited to try it out. Really like a, a berry kind of stouts, a fruits, fruited stout. So super excited to get this one cracked, poured, see how it is. All right, the appearance on the Saskap Stout. A finger of a beautiful, compact, creamy, uh, off-white, tannish kind of head sitting on a beautiful, just velvety, pitch black body. Really beautiful looking beer. Bit of carbonation going up the glass there. Wow, just an amazing looking head on this one. Let's get an aroma. Whoa. That... That is crazy. Yeah, tons of berry aromas right away. Yeah, getting like a blueberry compote kind of thing. And almost like a, some sort of syrup, like a, a maple syrup maybe, or like a pancake syrup kind of thing going on. Nice chocolate, coffee, typical stout notes, but... That aroma is amazing. It reminds me a lot of a uh, Saugatuck's uh, Blueberry Maple Stout. Yeah, that's an amazing smelling beer. Cheers, everybody. Frick. Yeah. I want like 12 of these in my cellar right now. This is great stuff. Wow, that it's so flavorful, but drinks so easy. Um... Yeah, the berry notes aren't quite as predominant as they are in the uh, aroma, but still really beautiful sweet berry kind of flavors, some nice tartness to it, uh, getting a beautiful, yeah, like a slight syrupy, like a breakfasty kind of feel to this one, a really beautiful sweetness to this beer, Ooh, excuse me. Some nice bitter, dark chocolate kind of flavors. A slight like cherry kind of thing going on, like a sweet cherry, but a dark cherry as well. Picking up uh, hints of like a uh, vanilla maybe, something like that. This would be great, uh, reduced and then uh, Add like a little bit more chocolate to it and pour that over ice cream or uh, vanilla sorbet or something like that. Uh, yeah, this is great. Uh, I want to see some lactose in it. Maybe just make it a little bit sweeter. But that being said, frick, this is a great, great beer. Yeah, it's uh, blueberries or I guess Saskat berries. It's got that sweet syrupy just beautiful flavor to it getting a really nice amount of yeah like a dark chocolate it's like slight uh, cocoa some uh, hints of coffee in the background really beautiful stout um yeah that's awesome there's very little i would change about this beer i mean i i personally like my stouts a little bit sweeter this is a sweet stout but just a little bit of lactose, I think, would just bump that up a bit. But that being said, frick, I'm just nitpicking. I'm just being a beer snob at this point. And, uh, yeah, that that is a fantastic beer. Can't believe stuff like this is coming out of a northern Alberta brewery. Uh, Grain Bin Brewings Twigs and Berry Saskap Stout. Uh, yeah, I've been loving their beers. I've had five now and just really digging them this is my favorite by far i mean this is what i want all the time like uh yeah this is the perfect winter beer it's perfect canadian beer like it's just got that 
it just reminds a person of Canada, like breakfast in Canada. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, as a rating on this one, I'll go right around a like a straight up A on this one. Ninety four, ninety five, something like that. Fantastic beer. Absolutely loving it. Uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think of Green Bin Brewing Company, any of their beers, especially the Twig and Berries. Um, yeah, can't wait to try out the other ones. I got the Robust Porter and the uh, Sour Wheat. Can't wait to try those out, but in the meantime, I'm going to be loving this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks a lot for uh, uh, Grain Bin for brewing this one. I hear they're uh, Brewmasters Mennonites. So, uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Cheers, everybody.